Hey, you're Adam, right? Yeah, I'm... <clears throat> yeah, I'm Adam. Well, I heard you were pretty good at drawing, and my mom's birthday's coming up, and I was wondering maybe you could draw something for her, because she loves art. And me, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, how can, uh, when would you need to buy? Uh, well, it's a week from today now, time. Like, her birthday is in a week from now, and I was just trying to figure out the perfect gift for her. Uh, yeah, that should be plenty of time. Uh, what do you have in mind? Well, I can show you. Something like this. That's a great picture. Yeah, I, I, I could definitely, I could definitely do that for you. Really? Thank yeah. you so much. I would definitely have to take you off for coffee or something. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Well, uh, I have to be somewhere, but I can talk to you later. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Okay, see you next week, Adam. All right, see you. Sorry, Dr. Corman. Time just got away from... No more excuses. You have the same excuse every time. This yes. needs to stop. Yes, sir, Dr. Corman. I promise it won't happen again. It's not going to be tolerated anymore. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. So, so thank you very much for being such great students. I'm so excited to see you again next class. And that's going to be the final. Thank you. Now, please leave. Yep. Hey man, what's up, Adam? Hey, what's up, Mike? You going to the party this weekend? Uh, I think I'll pass. Oh, come on, man. It's just the weekend. You know, like, you got to get the football and the beer and the girls. It's Hooters, bro. I don't want Hooters, bro. Why are you saying bro like that? I don't know, bro. Oh, no, look, man. I got to take care of you, okay? I'm your roommate. I'm pretty sure it's like a law or something that I got to take care of you. I, I don't think it's a law. You're not my parent. Don't worry about it, man. No, dude, look. I got to take care of you, man. I love you like a brother. You know what I'm saying? We've been roommates for like three years. I just... That's what I got to do. Look, man. You've never had a girlfriend. You've never been to a party. Except for that one time. <laughs> and that's why I don't go out anymore. All right, man, but you gotta go out with us soon, all right? All right, fine. I gotta go, man. I gotta be somewhere. All right, all right. I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah, all right, see you.
Smith. Who are you? And how'd you get in my room? Never mind that. Your life is boring and ordinary. You shut yourself in your room every day and you are too much of a wuss to tell Zoe that you've crushed on her since freshman year. Yeah? Again, who are you? No time for all that. I have come here to give you an envision of what your life could be like. In fact, two choices for what your life could be like. The blue pill will give you all the money and fame and all the materialistic things that a young man can ever dream of. And the red pill, it will grant you the love of your life. And you can live happily ever after with Miss Zoe forever. Okay, first of all, you show up in my room all weird-like. Secondly, you here past midnight trying to tell me that some pills that you probably found from down the road at the pharmacy are supposed to give me a new life? That is exactly what I'm saying. I'm giving you a choice to have a better life, be a life of fortune or a life of love. Okay, you're really a crazy person. I, okay, look, unlike you, I need to go back to bed. I have class in the morning and I cannot be late again. Fine. Don't believe me. It doesn't matter. But at least take the pills and think about it. All right, look, I'm, whatever. Give them to me. I'm gonna need you to get the hell out of my room, okay? Hey Anna. Hey, Anna. I love you, Adam Smith. Why do I even have to choose?